Let me share with you all the information available about the new series of GeForce RTX 4000. There is not a lot of data about this, but we gathered all the available information, and you will hear everything about that. Something is, without a doubt, in the works. The RTX 4000 series is almost certainly already in development, based on NVIDIA's GPU history and release pattern. According to NVIDIA's official architecture roadmap, Ampere Next, or Ada Lovelace, will be available in 2022. They expect Ampere Next Next, which is rumored to be the RTX 5000 series, to be ready by 2024. According to the latest leak from Copite 7 Kimi, the RTX 4000 series could debut in Q3 of 2022. We're not sure if Copite 7 Kimi is referring to a summer release or simply an announcement. Either could be the case. Ada Lovelace will be released in September 2022, according to Greymon55 on Twitter. Given the recent release of the 3070T and 3080T, it still feels like the RTX 4000 series is in its infancy. But wait, there's more from NVIDIA. According to rumors, RTX 3000 Super GPUs will be released at the end of 2021 or the beginning of 2022. The whole lineup specs have been leaked by Copite 7 Kimi. Increased CUDA cores, VRAM memory, and a switch to GDDR6X from GDDR6 Nonx are among the highlights, excluding the 3060S. According to speculations, the RTX 3090 Ti's production has come to a halt due to a hardware issue. During production, a hardware malfunction can cause a delay of many weeks or months. It's possible that the GPU's release will be altogether halted. In any case, these new RTX 3000 series Super or T models will not represent a considerable upgrade over the current portfolio. In truth, the enhancement will be minor. So, if you already have an RTX 3000 SKU, we advise you to wait for the RTX 4000. So what specifications can we expect? As previously said, no official information on the RTX 4000 series is available however, there have been some leaks. The only thing we know about it right now is its codename, Ada Lovelace. The Ada Lovelace microarchitecture will be fabricated on a 5 nanometers technology, which is a significant improvement over the 8 nanometers Ampere Samsung chips. A smaller microarchitecture has two major advantages, higher performance and lower power consumption. Nivita achieves these gains by packing more transistors onto the chip thanks to the 5 nanometers design. According to leaks, the GA102, 3090, 3080 processor will have more than 7,500 CUDA cores. This contains nearly double the number of GPC, graphics processing clusters, from 7 to 12, as well as 30 additional TPC, texture processing clusters. Given that the Ampere chip only improved by one GPC over the Turing 102 processor, this is a huge leap in performance. What performance can we expect? There are presently no publicly available benchmarks for the RTX 4000 series, but there are a few rumors to share. Greymon55 has once again enlightened us. According to their claims, these new GPUs should deliver twice the performance while using half the power. Is this something you can live with? While we embrace 2x performance, doubling power consumption might be problematic. What about the pricing? With the current information, it is hard to predict how the pricing will look. However, because AMD's RX 6000 series is on par, if not better, than the RTX 3000 series in terms of performance, NVIDIA will most likely adhere to the same cost as Ampere. So expect to pay roughly $330 for the 4060, $500 for the 4070, and $700 for the 4080. However, we're not sure about the 4090-Titan. Those two would set you back over $1,000. Unfortunately, there are rumors that the transition to 5 nanometers from TSMC will be much more expensive than anticipated. For example, Copite 7 Kimi's Twitter leak was in response to NerdTech assertion that 5 nanometers NVIDIA would be prohibitively expensive for customers. NVIDIA is also said to be investing tens of billions of dollars to help with the supply of the RTX 4000 and future cards. Of course, this money would go to TSMC to ensure that they obtain a big chunk of the 5 nanometers production process, 